everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs. We are doing one of the stupidest runs I've ever seen in my entire life, and I kind of can't wait to do it. Uh, this is just called Double the Fun. It's just by YouTube user, I think it was Sodimester33, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's very simple, and again, very stupid, and I can't believe I'm doing it. All we have to do is use Forget Me Now after every single floor that we do, so we have to do every single floor twice. Now, I thought about... You know, this is going to take us a long time in all likelihood, so I thought about maybe uh, making it so that, you know, we started with Mom's Knife or Brimstone or something, but then I figured, ah, uh, you know, technically, it, you know, Forget Me Now is not necessarily a disadvantage on those early floors. There's always the chance we could get, like, a Mom's Knife or a Brimstone uh, after getting a ton of HP upgrades from these early floors, because we are going to be, be able to get double the item rooms and double the boss rooms as well. So I have absolutely no idea how this is going to work out. I'm hoping it works out well, I'm hoping it doesn't take us, you know, an hour and a half, because the typical Isaac run is probably around 40 minutes. Maybe, uh, maybe half an hour at this point in the challenge runs. But anyway, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see. I'm looking forward to it on the first few floors. Uh, we'll see how it works after that. So in order to facilitate this run, I thought about doing it so that uh, I, I could just give myself, via the cheat engine, I could give myself a, a Forget Me Now at the end of every floor, which would allow me to hold on to a spacebar item, but at the same time, that would also be, like, really a, kind of a pain in the ass for me to have to deal with. Uh, to have to give myself a Forget Me Now at the end of every single floor. So instead what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna keep Forget Me Now in my spacebar, uh, slot. And maybe if I come across, like, a great spacebar item, uh, I'll consider going through the trouble of getting, uh, giving myself, uh, Forget Me Now at the end of every single floor. Just so I could hold on to something like the nail, for example. But, uh, I'm not gonna focus too much on that. I might just keep the, uh, Forget Me Now in the spacebar item slot and try to stack up stat upgrades, basically, or passive upgrades. Uh, because I don't really want to be finicking with it all the damn time. I prefer to just keep things simple, you know? The kiss method. Uh, rock and roll all night and party every day. So we're gonna take our range upgrade. That was the first time on the basement part one. And now we're gonna go back to the basement part one, which is looking like it might be, uh, double floor here? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, we don't have a Forget Me Now anymore. I'm gonna have to give myself uh, forget me now at the end of every floor anyway, apparently, but that's okay. Um, I thought maybe it would just give it to us when we walked into that room, but in any case, let's quickly come over here. This is Mom's Bra. We're gonna use Mom's Bra for this boss fight, at which point I will then give myself another Forget Me Now, and we'll go down to the next floor. So again, I am gonna have to Finnick with the cheat engine. Is Finnick even the correct- oh, we have, a uh, Spider Bite as well, or Mom's Contact, which freezes the enemies, or slows them as well, so we should be- yeah, it freezes them out. We should be okay here. So $3 bill has the potential, of course, to be okay for us. Uh, and also the potential to be garbage for us if it gives us some terrible items. But, okay, there we go. We got him frozen. Larry Jr. is going to be fairly easy. I'm hoping for some HP upgrades. Again, I really want to be able to uh, take deals with the devil to be able to get my damage up so these floors don't take me 25 minutes each as we get later and later. Like, I can't think of much worse than having to do, like, double Necropolis uh, without having very much damage. So I'm really hoping for a Mom's Knife or a Brimstone plus some stat upgrades as we move along. And we should be able to get that, you know, by way of double, uh, H sorry, double item rooms. Squeezy's gonna be a stat upgrade and some spirit hearts, so that's okay. And we can go down to the next floor now. We don't have to use Forget Me Now yet. Okay, so I can hold on to Mom's Bra for a little longer. And of course, again, I could go crazy with the cheat engine and try to give myself, um, lucky triple shot in this room. Uh, you know, give myself Forget Me Now, use Forget Me Now, give myself Mom's Bra again. That's probably the, the best way to do things to make sure that I do have a useful spacebar item, but it's also a lot of work, and I don't like things that are a lot of work most of the time. That's why this is my career, not like a, you know, engineer on a nuclear submarine or something. Strength card could be useful for us. It's hard for me to believe we're only on the basement part two, because we've already been playing for a reasonable length of time. Don't get hit by the flies, you ding-dong. If you notice, I started half a heart down. That's because, you know, in order to set up the cheat engine, uh, you usually have to have, like, one extra room that you can walk into, because the way the cheat engine works is that... Uh, you set it to give you an item the next time you go into a room. So when you start, you only have one room available to you, of course. So you have to actually clear out a room so you can walk back and forth between them to set up your items. In any case, um... Man, not having keys can be a problem here, but, uh, my brain just broke for a second there. In any case, uh, the reason I was half a spirit heart down, or half a regular heart down, sorry, not spirit heart, is because some goddamn flies got on my case. That key is gonna be very beneficial. And I was not liking it very much. We don't have to go to the shop yet, so let's see what we got in our item room. It's the bean. Mom's bra is better. This is a fairly useless item for us to have right now, but hopefully we get something better from the boss. Might as well pop uh, the strength card, and then we'll get Mom's bra working as well. With our triple shot and our strength card, we should be able to basically kill Monstro here. This is technically the third Monstro we fought, because we did fight two Monstros on our first boss room. 
All right, so he should be dead. That was very easy. We did get a deal with the devil and an HP upgrade. So let's see what the devil's got for us. Mom's knife. That's exactly what I wanted. And for all you people hating out there, oh, he's got mom's knife. Oh, I don't want to watch anymore. This is going to be a hard ass run. Don't, you know, worry about it too, too much. Uh, about me getting too powerful. That would be a blessing, considering how many floors we're going to have to deal with here. We're, we're only on the second floor of the game, technically. Okay, so we're going down to the next floor. We've got Forget Me Now back, so I can turn this off. Alphabetical Cheat Engine is a godsend, by the way. I don't know how I did, like, 50 videos without using the Alphabetical Cheat Engine. The other sweet thing about Mom's Knife in conjunction with $3 Bill is I can see what tier effect I have uh, just by looking at the color of the knife. So obviously this would be homing tiers if I didn't have uh, the knife. Uh, well, I guess I don't know what that one is. Uh, let's see what we've got in this treasure chest. We'll also check out this mob trap room down here. You never know. Could be really useful. Could be garbage. Ooh, that's tempting, but since I only have one key, I don't think it's really worth it yet. Now that we have Mom's Knife, what are we looking for? HP upgrades. The ability to... That's obviously number one. Uh, the ability to fly. I feel like I'm playing Family Feud, and the category is things Northern Lion always asks for in Binding of Isaac videos. Safety cap is going to give us more pills, and I believe it gives us uh, identification on those pills as well. I'm not sure if it gives us better pills. Again, Northern Lion never reads the wiki. He also never talks in third person, so I'm going to try to stop that right away. Uh, that was fairly easy. Just continue onwards here. Uh, get a little extra money. We haven't really made good use of the shop yet, but we also don't really need a lot of what the shop is going to have to offer. Please be passives. Oh my god, so many spacebar items. I don't know why. Does safety cap work like the magnet as well, or am I missing something that I got earlier? Well, we will get a cube of meteor. The good thing about this, I guess, uh, that I kind of didn't touch on before, is that we probably have a much greater chance of getting a uh, third or fourth level cube of meat. I can't believe I took damage there. The reason I took damage is because I was so stunned that I didn't take damage there, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so we can't open that. We can take our cube of meat, go down on the next floor. We're finally done with the basement, seven minutes in, and things should speed up a little bit as a result of our increased damage, uh, but also slow down because floors are going to get A, longer, and B, harder, much like my genitalia when I was younger. <laughs> uh, that was probably the fakest cry I've ever done in my entire life. When I was a kid, actually, it's not the fakest cry. Let me tell you the story of the fakest cry I ever did in my entire life. I fancy myself a bit of an actor when I was younger. In like third grade, our class went to see like this shitty production of Snow White at like this local theater. And I don't live in like New York City, so it wasn't like an off-Broadway play or something. It was like some community playhouse. I'm not hating on people who act in community theater, you know? It's good to have a hobby, but let's just say this was not like Laurence Olivier is Snow White. This was just like, you know, girl who works at the grocery store was Snow White. Uh, which is okay, I mean, again. But anyway, I thought it would be really cool to, to prove how good of an actor I was by just crying on command. But when I did it, everyone was like, Ryan, are you crying because Snow White's really sad? And I was like, fuck no, are you crazy? I'm the hardest motherfucker in this whole class. And they're all like, Ryan's crying because Snow White's a sad play. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not crying. Anyway, so that's the story of the fakest cry that I ever did. And that's why, at this point in my life, I've become so emotionally repressed, I think. In any case, that took a dark turn. Uh, we're getting through these floors really easily, which is awesome for me. If we get some more keys, or any keys at all, really, I would love to go to the item room or the uh, shop, because we can probably afford to buy maybe a compass at this point. Thank God we got a key there, but first things first, our item room is going to be Book of Sin. Jesus Christ, we're getting bad luck with our item room so far. Uh, well, we did get a spirit heart, I guess, technically, which is okay. We are using a... We are using Forget Me Now on this floor. Um... But I want to try to get a key first before we really shoot our wad on this one. Because if I can go to the shop, again, a compass would be beautiful. Or B-E-A beautiful, if you'd prefer. There we go. There's our shop. Maybe I should have gone to the shop first, although there's always the chance, of course, that we just end up fighting greed and feeling like a big dummy. Well, another fairly tricky room so far. But Mom's Knife has made relatively short work of it. Of them, I guess I should say. And we are going to continue exploring here. We're making very good time, considering this is like the... What, this would be the fifth floor we've gone. Averaging like two minutes per floor. And we didn't get Mom's Knife right away either, so... I don't feel too bad about our progress so far. Might want to go to this mob trap. Oh, that was awful dodging. Might want to go to this mob trap room. Get over here, you scum lord! Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is awful damage to be taking against an enemy I've fought like a thousand times. Uh, yeah, it's worth popping open. Alright, so we didn't get too much. 
We got number one, which means we should be able to fire our knife very quickly. Not that that means anything. We could get a key uh, as a result of this fight. It's kind of unlikely, but, you know, stranger things have happened. It is mathematically possible within the conditions set in the game. So let's just hope that uh, that becomes an up. Alright, so I guess immediately we can just use the forget me now. Head down to the next floor, and obviously uh, we are going to be looking for uh, some keys. Money's not really that useful, health not really that useful yet. This run could potentially take a long time. If I had a lot of keys, I would buy you a house. I would buy you. Do people even know that song anymore? So I feel like I'm dating myself sometimes. Which, you know, if you take the other meaning of the word dating, as in not like carbon dating, uh, that sounds awesome. I would love to date myself, man. Hey, honey, what do you want to do? Play three hours of seven grand steps? Yeah, me too. Actually, that's fairly similar to what my relationship is right now, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Check out what we've got in this item room. It is mom's pill bottle. We have safety cap. I don't... I think safety cap works in conjunction with pills, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we might as well come in here, because again, if I could get a key, I would love it. Uh, umbilical cord is kind of garbage. Let's just take our pill, shall we? Bad gas, alright. Thanks a lot, safety cap. So, it's so unfair for me to say that to safety cap when I have no idea of what its actual function is. It might be like, fuck you, man! I'll give you an extra heart at the end of every room! Fuck you, safety cap. Bad gas, really? That hurts. There we are. It's weird that we have a different mob trap room this time than we had last time. Not sure what caused that, but in any case, it was very easy to deal with. Our item rooms continue to be absolute garbage. We really need to get some solid uh, boss room junk if we're going to continue. And again, we don't need to give ourselves forget me now on this floor, because this is going to be our second time through Catacombs Part 1. I know time's flying, believe me. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Sadly, we can't get to that unless we gain the ability to fly on this floor, which I would absolutely love because Ace of Spades is cool. We got a pill there. Uh, and Spirit Heart would be awesome. We got a range upgrade, which might be beneficial with Mom's Knife. I could really use some, uh, like, damage stacking. Something along the lines of a Bloody Lust, aka Rage, would be fantastic. Uh, or any stat upgrades like the Mark or the Pact. But first we need to get some extra HP upgrades. I can't believe this is gonna be our sixth boss fight. And I've only gotten one HP upgrade so far. That is pretty... Draconian considering our uh, situation right here. But anyway, let's see what we've got from our boss. I was hoping maybe they would get Pestilence again, if that was even possible. Uh, but instead we got the Husk, you know, very easy in his own right. We're gonna get an HP upgrade, and a damage upgrade, and a tears upgrade, and then from our boss, sorry, from our Satan room, we're not gonna get anything at all. So I think it's fair to say that we are going down to the next floor. And again, we don't need to use Forget Me Now until the end of this one. So Catacombs Part 2, we are <laughs> technically on the fourth floor of the game, making incredibly speedy progress. Double the fun! Well, we'll see. What does this do? Pretty fly. Alright, that's a permanent defensive upgrade. I'm okay with that. Three dollar bill plus mom's knife is pretty nice, because again, if you get like, um... an awful one, like, my reflection, it doesn't actually impact you that much. Because it's not like the knife is gonna come flying back at you, uh, point out a la the first Tomb Raider movie or something. Anyway. You know what was weird for me is going back and watching the first Tomb Raider movie recently, uh, obviously to masturbate too, because why else would you watch it? Might save that key for now. Uh, and realizing, like, holy shit, Daniel Craig's in this movie, and then watching Tomb Raider 2, because again, you should never watch Tomb Raider 2, even if you just, I'd rather masturbate to, like, I don't know, Law and Order or something than watch Tomb Raider 2 again, but then being like, holy shit, Gerard Butler? I don't know, man. A lot of today, oh, Ipecac, that's gonna be very, or Chemical Peel. Still damage up. I always get it confused with Ipecac. It's like, today's most handsome leading man all started uh, opposite Angelina Jolie in some of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. But hey, how about Elevation, right? You two really knocked it out of the park with that song. So Chemical Peel will give us increased damage, I believe. Normally it only gives you increased damage out of one of your eyes. Uh, so I don't really know how that works in conjunction with Mom's Knife. Maybe it halves the damage upgrade and gives it to you over every shot. Maybe it doesn't work at all. I'm gonna hope that it works. We've got bad gas, which is garbage, but let's see what we've got in it. we got super greed. Might not be a bad thing. We can get some extra money. Maybe he'll give us a key when we're finished with him, too. For some reason, I can't seem to hit him, which is a uh, monumental problem moving forwards. Yep, just phasing through all of my shots as usual. There we go. That's a good one. Just stay cool. If I could... 
Why is my range so low? Did I not pick up a range upgrade very, very recently? There we go. Okay, we got a quarter. That's okay. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. That could end up... If we ever manage to get to a shop, that could actually prove beneficial for us. And we did get a key for finishing, so we will be able to go to the shop or item room. Possibly both if we get very lucky on the next uh, pass of this level. But in any case, let's finish off with the Catacombs Part 2. Our time with uh, Mom's pill bottle is basically over. As is our time fighting this boss, because we are doing an incredible amount of damage. There is another HP upgrade for us. We'd love to pick up Spirit of the Night or something akin to it at this point. Let's load Cheat Engine back up. Add item when entering next room. Thank you, alphabetical cheat table. You are my favorite. If I could just remember where F was. So we go down to the next floor. We should have... Oh, wait. I botched this hard. I shouldn't have gone down to the next floor. I should have just exited to the next room. So you know what we'll do? Deb's part one, we'll do three times. Because I just basically cheated. So my apologies there. It's tough to keep this stuff in line in your memory. But again, this is actually a punishment for me. So doing Depths Part 1 three times is actually going to be uh, harder than just doing the Catacombs Part 2 twice. So we're going to have to do this motherfucking room three times. That's okay. We've got two bad gas pills. Which, you know, vary in useful usefulness from, like, kind of okay to... Uh, oh, I got myself hit trying to use the bad gas pill, so I don't really like the bad gas pill that much. It's okay on enemies where uh, they stand still and you're unlikely to be hit. Don't worry, babies. I'm going to come back and get that bomb. Uh, we are going to get the spirit heart from this as well. At least I hope it's a spirit heart. Small rock. Yes. Fantastic. So we get an extra damage upgrade as well. Somebody up there likes us. We are getting stronger. Going to fly now, Bill Conti style. Uh, but... You know, I can't believe I skipped over the last... Or I, I didn't do the condition on the last room. That was really stupid. Oh, well. We'll finish these floors. Again, it's going to be harder, probably. Seriously? Like, I can't hit this guy. I guess he just died on my face for whatever reason. We're going to hold on to our key because we want to use that to, uh, you know, destroy the lock on the item room. That was some clever mental gymnastics or verbal gymnastics I had to go through to make that sentence make sense. Uh, okay, so again, Depths Part 1 three times. This is good! It gives us a better chance of getting that third level cube of meat, which could let us do a fairly decent amount of damage. We've got another Tinted Rock in here. Let's hang out in the corner where I'd be safe, and hopefully this is a health upgrade. Tears down! Safety Cap, what are you doing to me? I realize I don't understand your effect, but still. It seems kind of dickish to me. Hopefully we find our item room down here. Oh! That was a bad bounce on that uh, bomb fly. But again, we just want to take them out well outside of the range of influence where they can actually affect us. And damage-wise, I think we're doing very well right now. Health-wise, we're doing okay as well. Um, I could use some more upgrades as we move onwards. It's very tempting to play that Demon Judgment. Well, that's another Tears Down pill, but at least we got a key so we can go to the shop on this floor. Uh, and we got the magnet, and we've so many tinted rocks on this run. I would love to spread out some of the tinted rocks I'm getting on this run to other runs where I've gotten like zero tinted rocks. Uh, let's play Demon Judgment. We're, I feel like we can replenish our health very well uh, over the course of this run if we have to. Maybe we can get a bad trip pill. No, I've not forgotten that bad trip pills also give you full health. Sometimes I just I just don't do my due due diligence. So I traded like three red hearts for ten bombs. It's certainly an interesting trade. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it in the long run, or in the short run for that matter. Oh, we definitely need this. Uh, but, you know, 10 bombs doesn't hurt. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit on the Mom's Heart boss fight. And maybe it'll actually help us out a little bit on the, uh, might as well take the bad gas pill. On the uh, Blue Baby and Isaac fights as well. well I should say Mom's Heart fights, because we are going to be fighting them twice. So, uh, you know, any advantage that we can get is, is beneficial for us. We've got a Judgment here, which we will absolutely play. Another Tinted Rock as well, which is just crazy at this point. Uh, let's... Might as well pop the bad gas pills, just because I don't want to be constantly picking them up and slowing me down. And bad gas pills are not going to be that effective for me. And we got another Judgment, which is great for us as uh, people who have not been able to make the... Oh, Golden Key. Awesome. For people who have not been able to make the, the shop work most of the time, this Judgment is being very, very generous so far. What have you got for us, Judgy? Alright. Uh, D20, we can't really use that. Why don't we get this other Judgment? 
Even though that judgment gave me an item that I can't really use, I still appreciate it because he did a lot of good work for us there. He even gave us the other judgment card so we can just keep the trend going here. And now he gave us a golden key as well, so we're not going to spend any more keys. We got the hero font as a result. And this is all thanks to judgment number one being the nicest dude in the whole universe. But I really wish judgment two would pay out with the compass. Or the blue candle, which is also unusable for us because we need to hold on to uh, the forget me now. I understand that I could probably take the uh, you know take the blue candle, give myself the forget me now on every single floor, but that's way too much work for me. And to be honest with you, we're already doing so well with respect to damage that taking the blue candle would feel almost a, a little bit chintzy. So our shop contains the steam sale, which we might as well buy because we do have like five shops left over, believe it or not. Might as well buy a key as well, considering the money that we have. We're okay for bombs, so we fight the boss. This is important to remember for me. Fight the boss, immediately pop. Uh, forget me now. Because we're not supposed to go down to the next floor yet. It's a mistake I made last time. So we're one-third of the way through the depths part one. We take the speed upgrade. Take the health. What have you got for us, Satan? Uh, Brimstone and Lord of the Pit. We'll take Lord of the Pit. We'll leave... We'll use the forget me now. Okay, so this is run two of three on the depths part one. And I feel a lot faster now. That is for damn sure. I'm really hoping that we fight war at some point. I would not be pissed off if we managed to get a bunch more uh, deals with the devil. And somehow I managed to, uh, you know, lose all of my hearts and run entirely on spirit hearts. So Polaroid gave me invincibility. There's their compass for us. This is going pretty well, I gotta say. So why don't we blow this up? We'll save our money because we have, again, a lot of shops left over. The key paid for itself, certainly. Um, maybe we should buy the other key just in case. I'm sure we'll get more money. I could always, like, start looking for secret rooms as well. I don't know why. Oh, we have the compass now. That's why we can see what uh, rooms we are dealing with here. That was really bad. I didn't think they'd be able to turn quickly enough. There's another tinted rock up here. I'm getting so lucky with respect to tinted rocks. Maybe that's what safety cap does. More tinted rocks. Although it seems like I've gotten more pills as well. So I don't know. For, on a thematic level, it definitely seems to make more sense that safety cap would be a pill modifier. But again, I've been wrong before. Uh, so we'll take our key. We've got... Uh, I should pick it up because remote detonator will give us five bombs. Uh, and I'm just going to give myself forget me now at the end of this floor anyway. Don't forget! Those five bombs are beneficial. Uh, now we're just going to make our way to the boss. And again, we're going to fight the boss. We're going to use forget me now. And we're going to go down to... Uh, the... No, we're not gonna go down. We're gonna use Forget Me Now and stay on the Depths Part 1 as atonement for the fact that I skipped over doing Catacombs Part 2 twice by accident. Catacombs might actually be harder than the Depths, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to take my licks for that uh, earlier mistake, I, so I apologize for that, but I'm doing the best that I can. Again, these are very non-traditional runs. It's not like I have a sign over my desk or something that says, like, hey, make sure to use Forget Me Now. Anyway, who is our boss here? The Fallen, this is awesome. I love fighting the Fallen because the potential for a deal with the devil item at zero cost is uh, too much to pass up. That was super easy. We get the nail. I'm just going to take the spirit heart from it. I hate the fact that it wasn't a passive, but oh well. And our deal with the devil gives us uh, Guppy's Paw. This is weird. I'm just trying to think. If we take Guppy's Paw, we'll get six spirit hearts. We take the pad. We should take Guppy's Paw, because this will give us permanent invincibility as well. This is a weird run, because I'm running on permanent invincibility, but I don't have... By the way, I'm just going to give myself Forget Me Now. Now. Uh, I don't have the ability to give myself new Spirit Hearts, so it's a very weird setup that we've got going on here. I'm happy with it, but at the same time, uh, things could go drastically wrong if Spirit Hearts start coming a, a little less often than usual. Okay, so now we're on Necropolis 1. I gotta go back to the cheat engine here and just turn this off quickly. This is our last time on the Depths Part 1. So hopefully, uh, again, atone for that previous mistake. The other, I was running the math in my head to a certain extent. I was like, I could take the Pact and then take Guppy's Paw and I'll get the stat upgrades and also uh, I'll get the permanent invincibility because that would have taken all of my red hearts. But at the same time, it wasn't really worth it because... Uh, I wouldn't have gotten the six extra spirit hearts by way of, uh, like, the ones that I got for using Guppy's Paw. So I think this was the, the best thing for me to do if I was planning on going permanent invincibility style. So we're just going to go item room. We're going to try to go shop. Uh, it, it looks like it's over there by the boss room anyway, so we might as well do it. Just got to hit these guys once. It seems like I'm doing more damage now as well. What did I get? Oh, I didn't get anything from the last boss fight. I got one spirit heart, actually. 
by way of the nail. If you can't take the nail, then the nail is actually like worse than squeezy substantially. Uh, we get skeleton key. Beautiful. So our key situation is totally fine. Guppy's tail would be awesome, but we're not going to get the health necessary to buy Guppy's tail. Uh, so, you know. Let us instead just continue onwards down here. And this run's going well so far. We've got the power. We've got the speed, too. Like, 25 minutes about to go on to the depths part two. The, the first of two mom fights, technically, um, is not that bad. Like, it's not fast, but uh, it's not as slow as you might expect, given the fact that we're doing every floor two to three times, given the mistake that I made earlier. Our shop is going to contain uh, Spirit Heart, and we will buy the pills as well. Who knows? Something good could come of this. That is a range up. So we'll take both the range upgrade. Did I get hit by a... Oh, I got hit by the fire! Troll fire! How could you? Uh... This is a Tears Down, which we don't want. This one we don't know, which worries me, because I don't want it to be a health upgrade. So maybe we'll just leave that for now, and I'll be happy getting two range upgrades for seven cents. Let's see what we've got in our... Eh, we're going to be fighting Mask of Infamy. It's not great. This could be a difficult fight. Uh, but this, this is actually shitty, because it means that we're not fighting war, which means we are not getting our third level uh, Meat Boy. Could still get a third level Meat Boy on this run, but we definitely cannot get a 4th level Meat Boy unless we fight death twice. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Alright, well, you know what? I'm just going to go down to the next floor. I thought about just picking up the HP upgrade, then trading it into Satan immediately. I don't think it's worth it, though. So let's go down here. The, the risk is way greater than the reward, shall we say. So we are on the depths part 2. We might as well. This is going to be where things are going to start speeding up for us a little bit, because after this, we're not going to need to go to absolutely every single item room and shop on every single floor. So once we finish this one, and the one after it, uh, we should be okay. That is a Tears Up. We'll absolutely take that. This is the wrong way to get to the boss. I'm expecting these mom boss fights to be super easy, by the way. Should not be difficult at all. Given the incredible damage that we are doing. Of course, any extra damage upgrades? If you're listening, Troll Engine. Oh my god, that was the only place I could possibly take damage there. Why did I stand there? It's another Tears Up. Oh, it's Tears Down now? Am I missing something here? Uh, but yeah, if, if you're listening, Troll Engine, damage upgrades still very much welcome for me. And uh, not HP upgrades, basically. Relic, Miter, anything else that gives us Spirit Heart upgrades. The box, or the crate, I forget what it's called in this game. In Think Northern Lion Think, I got the box wrong, because I think I called it the crate. Or did I call it the box? I don't know, man! This is why I'm second-guessing myself again. Okay, so this room went better than expected. And we're gonna get another tears up, range up. I don't even know what these pills do at this point. We're gonna hold on to that world card as long as we can. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up Stigmata, sort of. I mean, I did, because I wanted the damage, but as I was pressing S on my keyboard, I was like, don't do it, you fool! Well, what's done is done. Uh, is the damage upgrade worth the lack of permanent invincibility? Almost certainly not, but... It's not like I just threw it away for nothing. At least we did get some kind of uh, increased offensive potential as a result. These guys are jumping way too much. Just kill a couple of them. Simplify the equation for ourselves here. There we go. All right. So yeah, I'm a little bit sore that I picked up Stigmata, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not sure if that increased damage applies to Meat Boy as well. If it did, that would be well worth it. Well, more worth it, shall we say. That was bad dodging, but this guy keeps bouncing around up here. There we go. All right, so a little extra money. Could be beneficial at the shop in the future. Live bomb. I always hate when you have magnet and then you get live bombs coming at you from all sides. I mean, obviously, that's pretty unfortunate, but... I'm digging this run so far. It's exhausting because you have to do so much, but uh, at the same time, it's also fun because you do get a little bit more powerful than usual if you're at least a little bit lucky on the run uh, because... You, uh, you're getting twice as many item rooms, twice as many boss, uh, items. The difficulty's also there. It's not quite there for me yet, because these floors have been fairly easy, given the amount of damage that I'm doing. Uh, but the difficulty will be there later, when we're, you know, cathedral, womb, uh, and especially the chest, if we manage to make it that far. But for now, I'm just enjoying, uh, you know, tearing the shit out of these enemies. We are gonna have to, I'm just reminding myself here, I'm sure you guys are aware, but, uh, that's a tears down, if I remember correctly. Um, I am going to have to use the forget-me-now at the end of this floor. So, 
Hopefully we get a better shop from the next one. We do have eight cents, so we could buy a map. That would be my ideal choice. Because the map could possibly uh, allow me to finish the game much more quickly. Skip over some floors that might be a real problem. Range upgrade will definitely take. The world card will hold on to. Shop's gonna be greed. Just don't take any damage. And this fight should be easy. Wow, well that's kind of the most obvious thing I think I've ever said. We got a dime there, amazingly. And another key, which is totally worthless. Alright, mom fight number one at 30 minutes. This is a little bit faster than I expected it to be, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm happy with it so far. And uh, mom is gonna die in like two seconds here. That was super quick. We got another HP upgrade. At this point, we should probably take it, because then we can trade the two hearts to the devil. Um, we'll take the Polaroid. We'll pop the Forget Me Now. We're going to be doing the Depths Part 2 again. Here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone this way. This is Again, this is going to be our last floor, I think, where we're actually going to have to go through every single room. So after this, it should speed up a little bit, provided I can actually find the boss with the compass. Or if I get the map, of course, on this floor. So let's make our way over here. There is a library as well. Um, don't need to give myself forget me now, so if I get a spacebar item, I can at least use it for a couple floors. Or most of a couple of floors, anyway. And this looks like a fairly easy setup so far. Thank you for just having human popcorns populating absolutely every single room so far in the best layout possible, because they are just, like, trapped in the side. Uh, we'll go down to our item room. Well, Eating my words a little bit now that we have to deal with some Zambros. Zombies! Zambies! Zambros is the evolution of this enemy. In my head, anyway, which is funny because I don't even think these guys are zombies. We're going to take Rainbow Baby, of course. We're going to work our way up here, and um, we could actually make something good happen. Here's what I'm thinking. We take this. Oh, the arcade's the other direction. Okay. Chubb doesn't really stand too much of a chance here. We have the speed necessary to F him up. Without getting effed up ourselves. And we're gonna get the map! Okay, map plus compass is gonna make this very, very possible. Uh, we could get another HP upgrade or some kind of stat upgrade from the boss trap room, but I don't want to. There is the secret room. I don't want to pick up Epic Fetus or anything at this point. I don't want the money. I'd rather just save my bombs. Who knows, maybe they'll come in handy at some point. Oh, oh, I really thought he would be dead by now. Okay, just don't get hit by the... Geneva Convention. Okay, pretty fly. That's good. We're gonna have a trio surrounding us. And if I can keep them in this little corridor here, I should be able to kill, like, three at once. Come on. I don't know why these guys are sometimes so hard to hit in here. There's another key for us. We're up to 98. Thank God, because I was worried that we were getting a little low for a while there. Uh, High Priestess. Good card. Uh, we don't need the World card anymore, because we already have Compass and Map. So we might as well take the High Priestess. I'm going to use it on the... I, I don't know when I'm going to use it. The thing is, we do so much damage, it's almost like we are the High Priestess. No, John! You are the demons! Why can I not hit this guy with my knife? Look at this, like, you gotta hit them right through the fucking brainstem. Or it doesn't count. So I'm relying on, like, Rainbow Baby to do all the damage for me. There we go, and, you know, it was happy to oblige there, which I appreciate. Seriously, like... The knife is going through your brain! Okay, so we're going to be doing our second mom fight here. Which means I do not need... She's already half dead. Uh, I absolutely do not need uh, to use High Priestess here, because that fight is over in 10 seconds. We're not going to take the HP upgrade, because two hearts is like the maximum uh, that we could have in a deal with the Devil Trade. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to get rid of this on the Wound Part 1 and go back to Permanent Invincibility. Now, thanks to the setup that we've got here. Obviously, don't let me forget, commenters. We need to use the forget me now on this floor. There we go. Uh, we're going to be able to find the boss room super quickly, which is awesome. However, uh, you know, I, I can't get too cocky here because this is where things can start to get a little rough. Remember, I can't replenish my spirit hearts at all unless I find a number of tinted rocks. So I'm kind of like handcuffed by the game. In that sense, like, I have to absolutely uh, be very, very cautious defensively about losing health. Because there might not be the opportunity for me to replenish it. Unless I get incredibly lucky with Spirit Arts, as I have gotten, like, over the course of this run so far. That was super easy. Cursed Skull is something that I'm not interested in. Let us fight our Wound Part 1 boss, which is Conquest. Give us the White Pony. Conquest will never give us the Cube of Meat, if I remember correctly, so... That's actually very unfortunate for us, but hopefully we'll be able to get a cube of meat from the next version, if you will. We have to use Forget Me Now on this floor. Uh, and you know what? 
Taking the mark seems like a smart idea here. Extra damage. Let me open up Cheat Engine again, and we will take uh, the Forget Me Now. And I think we're actually going to succeed on this run. Double the double the fun seems like it's actually going to work out, even though when I first started it, I was like, there's no way this run is ever going to work out in our favor. Alright, so we got some kind of glitch potentially going on here, which means I get a good opportunity to uh, drink some water, as Isaac is not responding right now. Important to keep hydrated on these long Isaac runs, you know? So, it's not like the pink glitch, it's kind of a weird glitch, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Oh, it came back. It is the pink glitch. Turned all weird, though. Just start the game! Don't do this to me, Flash! Oh, it's not responding. Okay, it's Utero XL. This is super weird. I don't know what we do in this situation. One thing's for sure, though. I gotta get, uh, forget me now, out of my inventory. So we're gonna fight... Ma... How is this gonna work? This is tricky. Do I... I'm trying to think of what would be best within the spirit of the challenge run without, like making it too difficult because if I use the forget me now on this floor I might as well use the chariot just once in this room um, if I use the forget me now on this floor then I'll have to go through utero 1 again which I don't want to do I might have to go through utero XL again which I don't want to do so why don't I um, beat mom's heart here then just go up to the cathedral I know that might seem like I'm cheating but then I'll do the cathedral thrice instead of twice that's the best way I can think of to balance it. The Cathedral is absolutely more difficult than uh, Utero, in my opinion. So I, I'm not cheating by any stretch of the imagination here. Uh, I'm just trying to make this work in the best way possible. So we're going to be fighting Conquest again. We've already done this once, uh, provided we kind of stand here sideways to him. Uh, Conquest should be super easy. It was a risky dodge there, but it ended up working. Conquest is dead. Obviously, we do not want the White Pony. Let us fight Mom's Heart now. Which again, maybe we'll actually have a chance to use bombs offensively here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just shoot my bombs all the way across the level. I think it's better to just use mom's knife in this situation, to be honest with you. We're tearing through her really quickly. She she is permanently throwing bombs already. Only on zombies, which means we are doing crazy damage. So I'm going to go up to the cathedral. Again, I'm a victim of circumstance here. I'm not trying to cheat the system. But instead of fighting uh, mom's heart... Twice, I'm gonna fight Isaac three times. That was a quick one here to start with. Uh, so, again, it's not perfect, but I didn't have any control over the fact that we ended up getting an XL floor. And I think I'm doing the harder version of this, actually. Uh, so I shouldn't be criticized, or I shouldn't feel bad about it at all. We're already uh, almost done with Isaac here. The first, Isaac the first, at least, because we have permanent invincibility from the Polaroid, and one spell of invincibility is enough to basically let us kill Isaac. So now we use Forget Me Now. Remember, we don't gain anything from... I used the Forget Me Now and then we went down to Shoal. I have to, we're, we're causing some issues with the game, I think is fair to say. Are we going to be able to beat Satan? Yes, substantially. Uh, I guess using Forget Me Now on the Cathedral takes you to Shoal, which is very unusual. Um, shall we beat Satan twice? I don't know what happens if you use Forget Me Now on Shoal. I assume you just go fight Satan again. So sure, let's try to beat Satan twice. I'm pretty sure it's going to be real easy, given how quickly we killed Isaac, but, um, you know. Again, not my fault. I can't reverse engineer myself back to the cathedral now at this point. It's almost as if the game was never intended to be played like this. Who would have thought? Anyway. Going to bust these dudes open. That permanent invincibility is nice, because I can just hang out around those Zombros now. All right, so Satan fight number one of... Hopefully, too, is my dream, anyway. Uh, we've already fought the Fallen before, and we are doing crazy damage, so this dude has no chance, as we are aware. Satan's gonna be hanging out. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna save the High Priestess card, and I'll use this against uh, Satan 2. The second form of Satan 2, I should say. So this is gonna be super easy. Again, we are just incredibly overpowered. And keep in mind that I didn't make this happen, like... This was just the troll engine actually giving us some good items. But anyway, we're going to try to beat Satan twice to double the fun. I'm sorry things didn't work out as I expected they would, like with us fighting Isaac three times. It was a total accident. I have no control over it. So we're back in Shoal. Let us use the forget me now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it's back down here. Fighting the Fallen again. Does this guy ever get sick of getting his ass kicked by me? Weird slowdown on this Fallen fight for some reason. 
Uh, well, he actually did manage to do some damage to us. We still have spirit hearts off the screen, apparently. Which is pretty crazy. We could probably... I'm not gonna do it, but I'm thinking we could probably beat Satan and Shoal like five times here. Uh, before finding ourselves really at risk. Especially if we keep getting spirit hearts through those tinted rocks. Um, I'm not gonna fight Satan five times, I'm gonna do it twice, and that should be the end of it here. Uh, it was a fun run, I just wish that it didn't turn so weird every single time. There we go, so Fallen's basically dead, I've hurt myself by accident. Uh, well, basically dead was maybe a, a little bit of a misnomer, he's got a little life left in him. Let's drop some bombs here, drop the High Priestess on this MF'er. That probably did, like, almost all of his health. And he is now... Oh, I thought he was dead. Whoa, like one or two more hits. Come on, there we go. All right. Now we're going to be fighting the feet. Again, super easy. Three of these should be enough. Maybe a little, little bit more. There we go. I think he stepped on a bomb fly and killed himself. So that's going to do it for this run. Things got weird, but again, thank you to a uh, YouTube user. I think it's Sodimester or Citymester. I wrote it down all weird. I can't even read my own handwriting. Should have been a doctor. But in any case, that was double the fun. Again, thank you to all of you for suggesting your challenge runs. Continue suggesting them. And I will do the ones I deem most appropriate and or interesting, absurd, etc, etc. Again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.